So it is the Monday after opening weekend um, here in Wisconsin, and I'm going out with my buddy Sam on his property. Um, he's got about 33 acres and a little box blind. We can sit in with a heater and sit pretty comfortable all day, but we're just getting in the land now. He's opening the gate. Um, we don't have a whole lot of extra time here, so we're kind of somewhat in a rush. So I'll get back to you when we are up in the stand. We quickly got out to the stand, got ready, and got settled in. Then shortly after legal shooting time, we got our first bit of action. After our first action is over about as fast as it came, it's about another two hours until there's any more. Now, Sam has hunted here the past two days, and we have reason to believe that there is a hot doe in the area. So, keep that in mind as we pass on that first deer and with what happens here next. Those are some of the hot ones. I mean, it's it's a small bug, but it could be smaller. That's for damn. Give 
us a shot. I feel like we go for it. He is after those toes. <laughs> oh my oh. god, dude. Oh, let's go. Yeah, dude, so where, I, where the shot was, I couldn't see its head, but I could see its body in between two trees. Oh, dude, it's done for sure. You could see blood just pouring out of it. <laughs> like, see it dude blood was just flying out of it <laughs> all right well a little bit of information here sammy just shot a doe about 40 40 50 yards out front here at about 8 30 this morning way up here to the left about 80 to 100 yards away Six does came over, increased over on the private. Two of them came back, a mom and a yearling. The mom was definitely hot because she came behind us. And then a little buck came down. So I met up with them, started chasing them, they ran away. Um, we didn't have sh anything happen for four hours or whatever. We saw the doe way back here, disappeared for about 10 minutes, came back out. And I guess you guys have probably watched it so you guys know what happened, but we're gonna sit the rest of the day, take care of that deer later. We're gonna sit the rest of the day. He's got a buck tag still, and I got a doe and a buck tag, so um, we got more deer to shoot. And it's good. To good day. Nothing like a midday buck. I mean, literally right at 12 30. It's unheard of, but sweet. So hopefully, we'll be back with more brown.
So after Sam shot that doe, uh, we kind of let it lay for the rest of the afternoon. Uh, we wanted to set the rest of the three hours and see what was going to happen that night, see if that hot doe was around maybe or not still. Um, but we ended up sitting till dark. We didn't see anything um, the rest of that night. So we ended up bringing her back up top where the vehicle was, gotten her there, um, loading her up, hauling her back home. We got it to my house, we skinned it out, and then we left it up hanging to uh, cool. But stay tuned, part two of this video will be coming soon as well. And uh, the next video will be on the Tuesday, so the very day after the day that this video took place, I will have a video on that day as well as uh, we had some more excitement. So thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said earlier, stay tuned for the next video as there's another action-packed deer hunting video coming out soon after this. So like again, thanks for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.